and pull straight. Walk that way. Going. Okay. Set it right there. Two years ago, we purchased a hurricane damaged boat with the dream of sailing her around the world. Together with our kids, we've been learning, laughing, and working to make this dream come true. This is the story of our adventures on a sailboat named Spoon Drifter. So the nice thing about the Caligo rigging that we have are these fittings, these uh, cheeky tangs, they call them, that mount on the mast, that are through bolted through the mast, have a nice, smooth, rounded surface for the Dyneema uh, line. And of course the eye splices fit around them and this little purple screw kind of keeps them in place so they don't fall off accidentally. And um, the other end is all set up for our turnbuckle. So that one's all ready to go. Um, we got these on here. So that one that one, got the lowers. So now I'm gonna go do some work on the main mast. All right, we're gonna put these lowers on here. First one. Just pulling the screw out. These are a little different because they're, they're double width, so we get two lines on it instead of one. And you got to kind of stretch them over the end like that. Both on nice and tight. Thread our screw back through. All right. So now we have all of the lines actually attached. So this is kind of cool here. Um, right here is our triadic. And then we have our split backstays right there. And then we have our two lowers right there, or our two uppers, sorry, upper shrouds. So the next thing we have to do is uh, mark and do some chafe protection where they go around the spreader ends. So right here is the spreader end and I gotta push the spreader uphill. It moves like about an inch or so, so we're gonna push it up to the top, stretch it out, make a mark at the center, and then we gotta do some chafe protection. I'm gonna make a mark. I'm gonna go about six inches of chafe protection so I'm gonna go about three inches above, three inches below, like that. And now we're gonna go get our tape. Okay, so what I'm using here is stuff called Howie's Hockey Tape. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but he said it's good chafe protection and good sun protection. So, or decent sun protection. Don't knock the camera off, so move away from the camera. There you go. Hold it still trying to put this on and you're moving it back and forth. Okay. Hold tight. Okay, I gotta go four times. Pull tight. So what we're doing on this is we're doing four passes. So we got some good um, substance there for shape protection, so that's two, three, and the last one, and like that. Go ahead, Gabe.
Okay. All right. <clears throat> so now we just want to kind of see how it fits. Pull it out here, Gabe. So the idea is it fits inside of here. Like that. And gives us some uh, some protection against the spreaders chafing it. And then we're going to lash it to the shredder chip tips and put a cover over that. So that's still coming. So that's where we are right now. So to kind of capture where we are right now, I got all of the uh, uh, uppers on here. We just put these lowers on right here. And everything is bungeed on here, kind of held in place. So that when we lift the mass, we don't have a whole bunch of loose things running everywhere. So I'm going to go and, and uh, chafe protect the other side now. And then we'll make a pattern, or I'm going to try to make a pattern for um, doing our spreader end covers. So I can just do it that way. Alright, so I got a template made. I'm going to see if it kind of works here. So the idea is this wraps around there, this wraps around here, like that. And then kind of sews on there as a cover. So it kind of looks like it's good. It's huge though. I don't think this needs to be this long. Pretty sure this could be shut. Cut. Cut that off. Let's see about the other one. Got that. Hold that up. You got it? Same thing. I think this one could be cut about right there. Okay. Take those home and make a piece out of leather and hopefully I can make it work. We want to give a big shout out to our amazing patrons who have cheered us on and shared our ups and downs behind the scenes each week. Thank you so much. Anchored here for the so, night, we've got some rest, and we're not done yet. I'm multitasking, go into a marina, poking holes in my leather and watching bums on a boat. A couple of years. So this could be harder than sailing 250 miles. We'll see. Two and a half years. In Luperon. We made it Two and a half out. years in the boatyard for us we too. Out, we have to thank all of you, the supporters on YouTube, the commenters that stuck by our side. Morning, it's after. So what are you doing? Making spreader boots to cover the ends of the spreaders. So the idea is, hang on, I'll show you. So, let's see, it kind of look like this and cover the end of the spreader. And this has got to be sewn up and your rigging line comes through here, spreaders are right here. Pretty cool, huh? It's a somewhat blustery day and Todd is trying to melt the end of this line. He had been trying to use a lighter when I suggested that maybe there was a better option. Aren't you glad I thought of that? Sure am. Like I said, you're awesome. He's using the small Dyneema line to keep our shrouds attached to the spreaders. 
sewing the leather mass boots in place. All in all, they cost us about $50 to make versus the 200 plus for anything we could find online. I think it was a pretty good deal. We found everything we needed at a local leatherworking shop. The owner was happy to help us with our needs. Who knew that leatherworking class I took in high school? It would come, come in, in handy. handy. Are you done with the first one yet? No. Almost. You know... They were a little big, so we had to Tight, make them a little tighter. I was gonna say in construction we have a term for this. Do you know what it's called? What? Milking it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. All right. Well. We had to do a little knot here to tighten that up a little bit, but that's sweet. You're doing awesome, dear. I love you. <laughs> You're amazing. You all need a wife like this that can do stuff like this. She's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> kiss up, kiss up, kiss up. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next Sunday.